everyone, and welcome to Kaiser and the Voices. I'm Kaiser Akron, the host with the voices, and welcome back to Kaiser and Paula Play No Straight Roads. So in the last episode, we made our approach to the psychedelic mistress, Eve. And in this episode, we are hopefully going to get past that, because good lord, Eve's fight is what could best be described as a nightmare what in colorful form. Zook. Hello? Eve? He looks so Where done with life. Take a seat. Like you right now? Zook. Let's Take not start seat. laughing. Let's be, let have people enjoy the right. cutscene. Remember this chair? Or it's has a chair. it fled past the walls of your memories? It has not no that I would be surprised God damn it. if it has. <laughs> a chair by design Let's is not never talk about made cheese to balls hold right now, okay? Sentimental but we'll save that for the end. We'll, we'll clip the intro out and we'll put that at the end so that people can see why we were giggling like goofballs. I like it. Eve, I... Shh, 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 shh. All is fine. You are forgiven. Now, lay yourself upon this vessel and accept my gift. She's visible. Feel the sands of time flow through your body as you once had. <clears throat> yeah, uh... What is seems that like face? Is pretty occupied with I'm trying to figure out what emotion she that's trying to express. me for who I no am. Idea. I love her, but a chair without a sitter is left with no purpose to exist. Hey, Zook, you can see her? Where is she? She's right there. Where? I do love that it's like Zook can see her, but Mayday can't. Mm -hmm. Almost like he's haunted Just by as her. I thought mm -hmm. you shared none of Zook's artistic perception. Girl, do you not see Tatiana holding the backrest to her bosoms? Hello? Do you not get what it is meant to represent? Uh, no. Zook, <laughs> ah, why must you pick such a pedestrian girl? You. I'm just Zook. noticing her jacket mm -hmm. thing has like giant leaves Remember on it. Mm -hmm. I was the tectonic plates mm -hmm. and you were the sea. The heat we channeled when your waves broke upon my earth was euphoric. We were untouchable. Do you not miss those times? Do you not yearn for that feeling again? Instead, I do love her artistic you vision, me for you know, this, and the way she describes this girl? things. Have yeah. you dropped your standards? Hey! No, that he raised them. Sad. So, so, so that's our case with like cheese balls, though. God damn! Let the cheese balls go, god dang it! We have a job to do! For context, we bought a thing of cheese balls. Oh my god, they're delicious, but we have to focus on work. So. I love her one leg, like her hair is like wrapped around it. Mm hmm, it's like spiraled around her. Honestly, her entire outfit is just a cacophony of colors and expressionism. That's what I love about her. Her fight, though, can suck a fat one. May not seem like much at first, but oh, it gets frustrating right quick. Alright, let's just get her. Take her down. Just be careful. You got those little hands. They do a little tip tiptoe dance and then they spin. It's honestly kind of cute in a weird way, like the way they just man maneuver. Ooh, good use of the guitar boomerang. I honestly forgot what we had equipped. Like, it's been a week since we've done this. Oh, that's the heal. Oh, yeah, and that hand, that you can parry the bullets that come off it. Yeah. It's a good way to get your parry score up in this level, that's for sure. But still, this doesn't seem too hard at first, yeah? Uh, if only it stayed that way. If only it stayed this simple. Again. Go away, little hands. I to deal with you. Okay, she should be nearing the end of her things if we got the meter down. Yep, there we go. Also, that triangle kind of reminds me of Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon, like the album cover. It kind of does. Like it, it's very reminiscent. I do love it's like a giant mirror as well that you're shattering through. Energy between you and pedestrian girl. She does not deserve this. She does not deserve any of this. She doesn't want any of this. I cannot have you, Zook. Then neither can she. 
Ooh. This is what I've been dreading. How this is gonna work. Still here, May. Don't panic. She's done this before. We just need to keep playing as we were. Oh crud. Well that explains it. Alright, so basically, you're fighting her, and if you wanna switch to me, just uh switch over. I think with the triangle. Yeah, you can parry all of those bullets, by the way. I had an issue, I forgot what. All right, you need to switch over to me. Oh wait, no, there she is. All right, you got this, baby. You can do this. All right, watch out for the foot. Yeah, that foot will stomp on you. Press L1 to switch. All right, now it's my turn. All right, I haven't played Zooks. Because whenever I've played this like single player, I've always done it on Mayday section. So I'm a little unfamiliar with how it works for Zook. So, kind of looks about the same. About the same, but the patterns are different. That's what I'm referring to here. Like the patterns are switched for each person, which honestly is cool. Like it's interesting that this is how they made it work for the two-player mode. So I give major props to them actually finding a way to make it all work. It's just a little tricky. The trick here for me, and I'd recommend this as well, dodge all the superfluous stuff because it's just going to get in your way. And when the hand comes up and shoots those weird eyeballs, parry them. Because they're worth mad parry points. Also, if you've got a healing ability, use it. Alright, you're up. Alright, just wait for that hand. Not those hands, sadly. Don't worry, you can parry all of them. It may not look it, but you can. Alright, L1 switch. Or not, just behind you. Oh, well. We got this. It would be a weird irony. We managed to beat this without having to continue, yet every other boss we've had to. It would be hilariously ironic. Alright. Oh shoot, hit oh, the wrong that's... button. Well, either way, you managed to get some hits on her, so that's good. I would recommend healing if you can. Very nice. There you go, you're getting it. Got this, baby. Also, dodge roll out of the way of that foot. It's the best way to get avoid it. There she is. Pretty good dodge. Thank God for hot dogs, am I right? Alright, come on. What you got, Eve? What you got? Waiting. Stomp your foot down. Nope. Laser eyes. Alright, got her! Alright, time to break through the second barrier. Since on my side, I will take charge and smash it to beats! What? No. Also, I just love she's got like a little gap between her teeth. Works well with the whole split color theme she's got. She's losing it, man. You are one of them, Duke. You fear me. <laughs> As you should. But no one escapes the Diva's Realm. That is seriously freaky, the way she says Diva's Realm like that. Mm -hmm. That's like, send a chill down your spine levels of freaky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is where things get wild. Like, wilder than it has been, basically. Oh, shoot! I put the wrong button! Alright, now you really gotta be careful. Those hands will... Yeah. If you ever feel the need to switch, L1. 
Ya. Come on, I can't get to you. Well, that worked. Okay. What the? Wait, what? I guess you did die? That was... A glitch! Glitch! This game has many glitches! Um, excuse you, I was hitting those. Guess it didn't register. Alright. Either way, we're gonna kick her butt. Doesn't matter if we lost life. That's okay. We make do with what we got. Okay, here comes the foot. I don't see her. I think she's on your side. Yep. Show her what's what, baby. I would if I could move. Wait, what? 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 What just happened? What? Ex excuse me? Huh? E excuse me? What? What the fuck what just, just happened? happened? What? What? What just uh, happened? Why? Uh, Hello. Uh, Duke. glitch? Glitch galore! Why does this happen every time what we- What just happened? I think- I think I honestly don't know. That was the weirdest glitch we've had in this game yet. You see, you've seen it here, folks. These glitches, they, they ain't planned. They, 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 what the hell? We don't try this, ladies and gentlemen. We don't. We don't try to make this happen. It just does. I think what happened, if I had to hazard a guess, was when you died you switched over or like maybe you healed and it still registered the death anyway and then it just didn't show the menu on my side yeah because it let me keep playing but for some baffling reason i don't know why does this count as a, as a c rank i guess so but it, we, ha we were far we were we were like near the end but still what the f Flying hell just happened. That has never happened before. Like, in all the things we've played in this game, this has never happened. And this is like a new build for this game, isn't it? I think it's the newest build, unless there is an update. Unless, but this shouldn't have happened, I don't think. I'm gonna heal. Just a little. I'd recommend you do the same since you're in the red. Very nice. That was weird. I'm that confused. was very weird. I I'm confused too. Alright, skip. You know what to do, baby. I do love how trippy and insane her stage is, though. Like, real talk, it is really fun to go through. Alright. Easy, baby. You got this. not taking oh yeah now she's taking damage for a minute there though she wasn't it's kind of weird right, i think she's on my side that was weird like even though you weren't you were doing the healing it showed up on my side for some reason yes, right, got it I'm guessing when you switch over, you have to make sure the controls are, like, you've done everything you want to do beforehand, so that way it doesn't cause, like, some weird glitch anomaly. Maybe. I'm just a composer. As am I. That was beyond weird. Why does this keep happening to us with this game? Like, I don't know. every time we play this, some weird thing happens that shouldn't happen. Either that, or we just have some seriously bad luck with this game. No. I know you are. Just sometimes it doesn't register. It is a butt. Right, I think it's my side again. Yeah, see, I'm hitting them too, but it's not registering the hit. At this point, let's just kick her butt. Just on the switch port, you can parry like mad here. It's insane. Okay, did she... Okay, did she go to your side? I think so. Alright, you're up. 
I will say that's one aspect of the multiplayer that's kind of cool is that for this section of the fight you have to switch between um, the both players you know that is honestly pretty cool right, you got this baby you got this you got this you got this get that healing I think you can parry that laser I think I think you're not like aimed at the things, really. That's why it's not registering. I don't know, but I'm dying. You're up. All right. Ouch. How do you parry it here? Like I've done it before. This is nuts. Maybe the glitch caused it, so it wasn't registering. Because it did that before too. Maybe. See, now it worked. I think, yeah, you're up. What? Yeah, I think what happened was you switched as you were dying. What? Yeah, you got hit. Uh. Let yourself die, because unfortunately there's nothing I can do to get to you here. Alright, continue. Alright, now I think we'll be fine. I mean, in essence, we should be. Let's do this again. At this point, the parries are just kind of random, so there's whale on her at this point. You got this, baby. Go all out. Alright, switch over. Right here. Oh, she went into a painting. I thought that was like a switch over type thing. That was weird. I swear to God, it sounds like she's saying squirrel when she gets hurt like that. Alright, I'm on it. Wait, what? What? I did it again! What? what the hell? I'm confused. I honestly think this one might have to be done single player, because this so? is getting ridiculous. Alright, well, if that's the case, I believe you have one player, so... Yeah, so... Yeah, nope. Nope! Pause! We're dealing with a thing! And we're back! Okay, so we're doing it one player now because two player is damn near impossible apparently unless you got some really good skills and, and unfortunately you don't die. Yeah, so I'm just gonna handle this on my own because yeah, we don't want to be here for an entire episode like Sayu all over again. Screw that. I'm just in here eating cheese balls. Enjoy your cheese balls. Just Ugh. What is it with this game just constantly glitching out on us? What? Like, seriously, I love this game. I love what it introduces. I love the characters. But seriously, why is it in two-player? It's such a glitchy mess. Mind like, if I give off my theory? Sure, go on ahead. I feel like the two-player system was an afterthought. It feels like an afterthought. Just feels like it was something that was kind of left in the wings. Because I noticed in certain parts, like with Eden, if you're separated from your, the second player, it seems to not connect well. And, or register if you die. Yeah. And then with the fact that if you go far out, you can't hardly register your shit because you don't know your dis distance because one player is either in the back or in the front. It does kind of feel like it was implemented later on. But we could be wrong about this. We could be completely in the wrong on this subject, but... It just feels like the second player functionality was not given a lot of foresight, you know? And it's a shame because the two player can be fun. Like, I've enjoyed playing it two player, you know? But it certainly does feel kind of messy. Like it was a last minute addition. The DK West fight though, it's perfect for two player. Oh no, it's great in two player. Like, certainly a lot easier than the one player, that's for damn sure. Believe me, my three hours of hell will tell you that much. I'm not, I'm gonna be honest, I feel like this game would have been better as kind of like a Rayman Origins side scroll. It would have, like, maybe the 3D stuff, like, it would have been better in 2D, but then again, there are some things that only could be done in 3D, like the Eve psychedelic stuff. Like, I feel like that is something that could only be achieved in a 3D landscape. You I know feel what I mean? Like it could be achieved. It, it could. It, it would have been a lot of thought, but I feel like I still could have worked in a side 
Like a 3D size scroll. Like a 2.5D type thing? Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. 2.5D would have been the way to go, but if we're talking like old school kind of 2D side scroller, no, I think it would have to be like, you know, if you're going to do this sort of thing in a side scroller, 2.5D is the way to go. We're just full 3D like Little Nightmare. That too. Alright, well, let's take her down finally, because I ain't got the patience for this anymore. I'm just gonna stay quiet, because I know this one actually has the added duplex. Yeah, no, I'm gonna be quiet for those two, because for some baffling reason, again, we're going to compare the Switch and the PS4 port, uh, there is more dialogue with Zook and Eve in this particular battle. There's more with Zook in general. Uh, there's more Zook in general in this port. Like, I don't know why Zook didn't get so much love in the Switch port. Like, I love this dude! Mayday didn't get a lot of lines either. It's kind of like in the Switch port when you're going against that final set with um, Inu when she's like rapidly playing the keys. Uh huh. All you get is what Zook says. Uh, yeah, like. In the PlayStation port, you hear a Mayday go, massive damage, massive damage. It's weird. Like, I feel like the Switch port was also just kind of an afterthought at the end of the day. Because, like, it works, it functions, but. It doesn't have the same level of, you know, polish, so to speak. And it's a, it's not, hasn't been fully updated to, like, this version. No, it hasn't. Like, it's been months down the line, and it's still not updated. Like, which is a shame, because here's the thing about me. I love the Switch, and I purposely will buy ports again just for the portability of the Switch, because I feel that is, like, a major selling point of the console. You know, like, you want that portability aspect, you know? And that's what sells the Switch, is being able to play all these high-end games on the go, which is awesome, in my opinion. It's why I've built up a big collection of Switch games, because I love that portability. If you don't know me personally, like a lot of my friends do, you'll know that I am a big Nintendo junkie. You know, I love Nintendo consoles and games, and portability has always been something I favored in terms of gaming. You know, I like being able to take the games I love on the go. And the Switch is the perfect answer to that. Because I can still play high quality games that are modern while being able to go do what I like to do somewhere else. You know, it has that perfect balance for me. And it's a shame that games like this that offer such promise, something different and unique, you know, they don't run as stably as they could because they aren't given the same level of detail and love as other games. It's a shame, because this game, its story, and its characters are incredible. Like, seriously, I love how this game takes a look at the music industry through, like, a different artistic lens and sort of commentates on all the insane things you see in the industry. You know, Mayday and Zook are wonderful protagonists. You know, they're funny, they're relatable. You know, you feel for them. And you also feel for the people running the districts, you know? Eve in particular, since we're on her fight, I feel like she is a tortured soul, and it represents very well in the way she does things in an abstract manner. The way I see it is she's very, she's more of an eccentric character. And usually people who are eccentric, yeah, they are loved by people, but you don't feel like, people, like others know how you're feeling, how you see the world. So. And with this, it's kind of like she finally got annoyed by it, because she's kind of in this solitaire diva realm, while, like, with her only friend being Tatiana, because she understands it. Mm-hmm. Because Tatiana gave her a platform and a voice to speak with. You know, she gave her a chance to be who she truly feels she can be. Heck, even DJ Subatomic Supernova, you know, he's just someone who's using this as a platform to send his message about space, you know, reach the vast corners of the universe. But even he, with all of his bolstering, still has an appreciation for music, which is why he does what he does, you know? Each character, even though they appear simple, is much more complex. And I love that in this game. It's why I think this game is a masterpiece. I would like to say, mention one character that I feel like does have quite a tragic backstory in this show. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about the the 1010 fucking guy, no. Neon Jay. Um, <laughs> he knew. I think I see you at the other mm -hmm. end of the tunnel. Um, I do too. It, unless you play the games entirely and you get all the background, you find out that 
even though, yeah, she's a young prodigy, Zoom. but her father died. And her, and her mom kind of like tries to keep pushing her dream and everything, so she Believe has a platform to be able to grow and make some of herself, yourself. even though she doesn't have a father figure there to help her out. And, the greatest thing you ever accomplished and it's just, I kind of like the idea of the fact that he realizes, you. like, her mom is going a little overboard on this, and that's why she yells that she hates them all, even though at the end she still cares about her mother and wants her to just calm the fuck down. I agree. And that's something I appreciate with every character in this game, you know? They all have much deeper layers than what's on the surface. If you dig deep enough, you, you learn don't... that there's much more complexity to them, much like the music they represent. If you just look at the surface, their music is just beats. But if you learn about them, much like their music, there's a lot more complexity to them. I will admit that is clearly a DBZ reference. It is. <laughs> ah, this fight, man. Seriously. I get ready. Mm-hmm. You, you and everyone else are just intimidated by my talent. All of you are cowards. Always. <laughs> There is no one, not even him. None in this world to weave their senses with mine. I should go talk to her. Not gonna lie though, the lighting oh. and the scenes in this are really nice. Mm-hmm. I also just love this part in general, which I is wasted in the nothing. Switch port. Why should I continue to entertain this void? Eat. So much to do. Yet, nowhere to go. I do not belong here. Eve, please! Fear, sleep, fire, all for naught. Please, listen. It is over. It is over, it is over, it is over. It is over, it is over. Eve, you're not alone. Stay away! Your tongue is poison! Eve. It shows deep down he still cares. They are so beautiful. I will close my eyes now. Goodbye. I also love this. The first album cover changes to a much more somber one. It's pretty nice. Eve, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't be the person you wanted me to be. When we first met, you immediately saw potential in me. I gave you hope that perhaps I could eventually see the world as you did. But I'm not like you. I wish I was, but I'm not. But if we just try again... Eve, please. <sighs> I was a coward for running away. I know that now. But seeing you today reminded me of how alive you can truly be when you're performing your craft. I know how terrifying it must be to face the possibility that you might never meet another like-minded person in this world. But you're better than that. You don't need anybody else to complete you. You complete yourself. It is not comfortable to hear this. I do not think I am strong enough to... You have always been stronger than me. If anyone can do it, it's you, Nadia. I like the fact that if you have it, like, kind of listen to DK West, 
You kind of miss the fact that they actually talk about her mm-hmm. in the rap battles. It's a really nice junction to that particular line. Mm-hmm. Not to mention the fact that it's like she was d- the reason the why DK skin, West liked her so much, you know? If you know mm-hmm. as I do. You didn't notice. I think you'll like what? her too. I know I did. I'm just ignoring <laughs> you at this point. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, buddy. Still, this fight is annoying in two-player. Yeah. So, I'm going to wait till after we're fully done with this game to give my two cents on most of this, but... Yeah. I don't blame you. And more likely, we're going to get a C. No, B. B? Oh, yeah, because... We... Oh, yeah. All right, well, since we got to go back to two-player... Yeah. Um, I think this would be a good time to end it. Don't you agree? I think so, yes, but I think there's a cutscene before then. Just... <sighs> my lord my lord I love this game burning but... hair fashion I remember that um yeah well... <laughs> freaking set this dude's hair on fire mm-hmm. he set his hair on fire god dang it yep <sighs> still with that out of the way we are now ranked number one on the board which is good, right? I I would say so. Oh fuck, that's glitching. Rock rules, baby. But is that necessarily a good thing? No, uh, yeah, I I'm not good with questions right now. <laughs> Neither am I after that little mind screw. Mind scrubbing. Yep, that mind annihilation. The mind scrubbing, flubbing. Yep. Anyways, tune in next time as we finally bring an end to this wonderful, if not flawed, experience. Unless we have an issue with DK West, then there might be two episodes left after this. That or a mega episode where we edit down the thing to when we win it and we just do Tatiana. That's we'll that's, see. Yeah. But till then, thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below, letting us know your favorite moments from this episode. Also, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and make sure all notifications are turned on so you know when we are furthering our depth descent into rock and roll madness. Also, share this video around. Your continued viewership and support is greatly appreciated. And of course, a very special thanks to the tier two and tier three Patreon supporters. Those being Sebastian Canina, Aaron Lena, Jesse Barbosa, Panda Four Seven Five, Nagi Oki, Dorian Jean, Sen Boy, Mighty Chlorophyte, Honor Higgins. Jesse Alvarez, Jeremy Leon, Zodiac Demirs, Ruby the Wolf, Harley Wolf, Katie Honey J. If you'd like to support the Patreon family as well as get videos 24 hours in advance, along with exclusive Let's Plays, check the link in the description below to our Patreon. And with that said, this is Kaiser and Paula. Sorry. <laughs> we will see you all next time. Ayla. Cheese ball. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to <laughs> We're not using this for the intro fuck yeah. that. No. Yeah, yeah, we're using it. We're using uh, it. Hello everyone and welcome to Kaiser and the Voices. I'm Kaiser Akron, the host of the voices. And welcome back to Kaiser. <laughs> I can't use this. This is not usable. You can use it as a blooper. (laughs) (laughs) Anyways. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Kaiser and the Voices. I'm... (laughs) (laughs) All this because you wanted fucking cheese balls. I like cheese balls. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my stomach hurts. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. As soon as you start recording, I pull out a cheese ball and just go, cheese ball. Fuck you. <laughs> you beautiful bean. Okay. Are you ready to do this? Cheese ball. <sighs>